Hey Dave, sounds great. Well, like most nonprofits, employability changed how it did things during the pandemic. But with the help of some local Boy Scouts, these hometown heroes at the organization that helps prepare people with disabilities for jobs in the community, well, they're bringing back one of their most popular activities. Tim Guider explains. Soon, people will be getting their hands dirty again at employability. Some of them on their way to life enriching employment. So they could work for any landscaping, landscaping company. Um, they could work at Lowe's or Home Depot or Hester and Zipper or any of the other great uh, uh, nurseries that we have uh, in Savannah. The nonprofit that helps individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities get jobs in the community lost its garden workspace when it shifted locations during the pandemic. But a gift to the organization will now allow employability to resume its popular gardening program. They are raised garden beds that are ADA accessible, um, so it's approachable for all of our program participants. Um, we have a couple that are on casters, some of them that are not on casters, that are stationary. Um, the ones that are on casters can come inside and outside, and the beauty of it is that people, um, everybody can kind of participate with it, whether they can only need to stay indoors um, because of heat restrictions or if they want to go outside. Boy Scout Troop 1 in Savannah built seven garden beds as Ian Ekman's Eagle Scout project. And now employability participants can use them to learn, to simply enjoy planting, or for potential job training. That's the beauty of it is that, that it is going to be both fun and rewarding. And it's something that where people can kind of see the, the effects, the growth um, in what they're doing. From, uh, you know, the initial planting and uh, seeing, uh, you know, that all of the plants, you know, changing in size and stuff like that, I think, and, and just giving them something to do every day that, that they can see changing, I think, it's, I think it's a really good opportunity for them. May River Landscaping Services is helping beautify employability's new space as the organization's participants get ready to get back to planting for themselves. And that oftentimes is one of the challenges that we have is, to, is to, to find activities where people can learn something, be engaged, have a good time, but then also see the, the fruits of their labor. Tim Guidera, WTOC News.